Hi and welcome to this video on text summarization. We're going to go ahead and build a really simple, easy to use text summarizer using Google AI's T5 model. So this is insanely easy to do. Altogether, we actually only need seven lines of code. And with that, we can actually summarize text using Google's T5 model, which is actually the cutting edge in terms of text summarization at the moment. So it's really impressive that we can do this so easily and we'll just run through it really quickly and see what we can do. So we need to import Torch and the Transformers library. And from the Transformers library, we just need the auto tokenizer and auto model with LM head. Whilst they're importing, we can initialize our tokenizer and model. So all we do for this is tokenizer, and then we load our tokenizer from pre-trained. And we will be using the T5 base model. And then we do the same for our model, except with the auto model with LM head. We also need to make sure that we return a dictionary here as well. Okay, for this, we're going to take some text from the Wikipedia page about Winston Churchill. And we will just take this text here. Now, I've already formatted it over here, so I'm just going to take this and paste it in. But this is exactly the same as what I highlighted just here without the numbers and headers. So we run that and we simply build our input IDs. So all we're doing here is taking each of these words, splitting them into tokens. So imagine if we split one sentence into a list of words, we would have this, his first speech, as prime minister. Each one of these words would be a separate token. So we split them into those tokens and then we convert those tokens into unique identifier numbers. Each of these identifying numbers will be used by the model to map that word, which is now a number, to a vector that has been trained and represents that word. We just add summarize at the front here. followed by our sequence. Because we are using PyTorch, we want to return PT tensors. And we set a max length of 512 tokens, which is the maximum number of tokens that T5 can handle at once. Anything longer than this, we would like to truncate. So now we can have a look at those inputs and we can see we have our tensor of input IDs. Now we need to run these input IDs through our model. So we do model generate and this will output a, this will generate a certain number of output tokens, which are also numeric representations of the words. Now, all we need to do here is pass our input. And then we give a max length and minimum length as well. This just tells the model we do not want anything longer than we're going to use 150 characters and anything less than 80 words. Now we have a length penalty parameter here as well. So the higher the number, the more the model would be penalized for going either below or above that min and maximum length. 
And we're going to use quite a high value here of five. And we use two beams. Now, what we also need to do here is actually pass these into another variable outputs. And then when we want to access these outputs, we will use outputs zero, as this is the tensor containing our numeric word IDs. Now, we can use tokenizer again to decode our outputs. So this is converting our outputs from the numeric IDs into text. And we also want to give that to another variable. Finally, we can print our summary. And here we can see that the model has taken some of the information, I think entirely from this second paragraph here and created a summary of the full text. Out of the box, this is pretty good because if you read through this, it includes a lot of the main points. Now. The first paragraph isn't that relevant, and I would say the final paragraph is not either. Most of the information that we want, from my point of view, is in the second and third paragraph. Now, the model has quite clearly only extracted information from the second paragraph, which is not ideal, but for an out-of-the-box solution, it still performed pretty well. So that's it for this model. I hope this has been pretty useful and insightful as to how quickly we can actually build a pretty good text summarizer and implement Google's T5 model in almost no lines of code. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.